What's going on, y'all? This is Sports Talk back at it with another video talking football, giving you guys my playoff predictions for the NFC. And we're going to get started right away with the Packers at the Redskins. Um, another anticipated matchup. Kirk Cousins has been red hot, and I do mean red hot. I think since week seven, the hottest quarterback in the league. He's got uh, like 29 touchdowns and just 11 picks. And yes, Kirk, I do like that. So uh, everything in this game and over the past couple of weeks says that the Redskins should be able to win. And they are indeed favored. I did check the line. They are favored, I think, by one. I don't know why it's not higher. Everyone should be picking the Redskins uh, with the way the Packers have been looking, which I will get to. Um, but again, Jordan Reed, a matchup nightmare. Um, the Redskins have just been very impressive over the past couple weeks, and they've been catching fire at the right time. Now you flip it to the other side, the Packers. Their offense has gone down in the tank, and I'm talking about line can't protect, receivers can't catch, Aaron Rodgers doesn't look like Aaron Rodgers. I don't know what it is, if he's lost his confidence or whatnot. So to me, this matchup, it's basically... Sort of, to me, a trap game combined with go with what the numbers say. But there's one stat that I can't get over if you pay attention to this. All right, The Redskins, and this is the only stat that's making me pick the Packers over the Redskins, by the way. The Redskins have not beaten a team over 500 all seasons. All seasons. So their, their win total and Kirk Cousins' performance, a majority of them has come against bad teams under 500. So... I don't know what it is. Maybe I, I'm just crazy. I don't have reasoning behind this, but just that one stat I can't get past. I'm gonna roll with the Packers. I just I still believe in Aaron Rodgers. Um, I think uh, he'll find a way to get it done. You know, miracles do happen. Remember the game at Detroit when he threw the hail mary. So I'm picking Packers in this game to win. It'll be fairly high scoring. I could see it in the 30s. Um, then moving on to the um, Seahawks at Vikings. Pay attention to the temperatures in this game. Windshield is supposed to be around negative 15. Temperatures about 0 degrees. Very cold. What that means, two things are favored. Defense and the running game. And both Seattle is the superior team. They're the better running team. They're third in the lead. And they have the, uh, I think, second best defense. or the best. They have the best run defense. And they have the second best pass defense. So they can stop both ways. So... They have the advantage on both sides. And then at quarterback, it's not even close. Russell Wilson has been lights out, like I mentioned, outside of maybe Kirk Cousins and Russell Wilson. They've been the hottest quarterbacks in the league over the past couple of weeks. So to me, this one, it all comes down to I can't pick Teddy Bridgewater over Russell Wilson. And I know the Seahawks defense, I I believe they can stop Adrian Peterson. Uh, so I'm picking the Seahawks to win this game. Um, I can see it being fairly low scoring just because of the frigid temperatures. So um, maybe somewhere around the lines of 17, 13, 17, 14. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.